Norm and their Christmas spectacular out there. Sheldon and his fiance attended this weekend. Had a great time. So that's a new tradition you can start. And talking about start new traditions, when it comes to Amarillo, there's always something to do. Hope Stokes with the Amarillo Visitors and Convention Bureau is in with us this morning. Good morning, Miss Hope. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Pretty good. Merry Christmas. I was looking at your website the other day, and it says start planning now. So uh, is now the time to plan that great adventure for Amarillo? Yes, absolutely. It's always a great time to visit. I would suggest coming in the summer months. It's a bit warmer, um, <laughs> but it's still there's plenty to do, plenty going on during the winter months as well, especially if you're an arts lover. It is a great time to visit um, right now if you love arts. I was at an event and I don't I don't remember if this was was you guys or not, but they were handing out the little things with the boots, the pair of boots on them and talking about how they want Amarillo to just you just see the boots and you know that's Amarillo. Is that you guys doing? That is us. Yep, that is correct. You can still go to visitamarillo.com and enter in your email address and your home address and we will ship you a boot sticker for free at any point. So if you go ahead and slap it on your car or your laptop, whatever, and send us a picture. We'll also send you a bandana. So yes, we do want to be known um, for the boot symbol. I always say we want that to be like our Nike swoosh. When people see that, they automatically know that's Amarillo. They don't even need the entire word in it. Will that keep the cops from giving me a ticket? <laughs> you know, it's, I don't know if it can basically um, work as a 100 club sticker, but <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> does it get him thirty dollars? What was that? Does it get him thirty dollars? I don't know. That's what he wants. Thirty days, right. though. I can, I can, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thirty um, days. I, I can't guarantee that. I, you know, we should get with the police department on that. I'm not sure that they would go for that. I don't think there's a way to do that. But yeah. no, no, no. That's all I got to say on that. What uh, What other big things we got going on in this uh, holiday month? Of course, we just left the Nutcracker weekend. Uh, but there's still tons of stuff to do, even though it's a little chilly out. Yeah, absolutely. You know, going into the holidays, I was thinking like, you know, surely it's a slower time. No, um, I'm proven wrong once again. That is not the case by any means. Um, just our ongoing events that have been happening throughout the month, of course, is your Garden of Lights at the Botanical Gardens. That'll be going on till the 23rd. You have Maxwell's Magical Christmas going on till the 23rd as well. You can go out anytime, enjoy all the lights, the fun activities they have out there. The Wranglers, our hockey team, is actually having their Christmas party, along with many games happening throughout the month. Um, Maxwell, or I already have said Maxwell's, so there's the Happy Holiday Pops with the symphony. That's a really great concert coming up. That'll be on the 17th. And then there's also going to be Nate Bargetsy. Um, that is a comedian at the Globe News Center, and we have HPPR having their living room concert coming up soon, um, and that's all before the month ends, and then there's plenty of things happening that I didn't mention, and then a lot's happening once we hit January as well, so as y'all know, visit Amarillo.com um, and go to the events page for all the things happening and things to do in Amarillo. Yeah, one thing I want to ask you, Ms. Hope, is, you know, you usually take stock. You look back at the year from uh, ahead as you get ready to go to the new year. You look back and look at things. How big of an economic impact does visitors and tourism and conventions have? How big of a pot, part of the pie does that make up of Amarillo's economy? Um, so previously, we've been looking at it, and it usually is around 60% of sales tax is um, comes from visitors. So that fluctuates, absolutely, but we have seen in years past it um, is around 50 to 60%. So that's a massive impact. Um, right. A lot of times, you know, when I tell people I work for the um, tourism office of Amarillo, they're like, why? There's no visitors. No, we surpassed <laughs> like 6 million visitors last year. Um, so it's a massive portion of our economy. There's lots of data that the state keeps on this, and so does our office. So we know the visitors have a massive impact. They definitely help keep our cost of living low and help keep the quality of life in our city up. So a massive impact. It seems to me that every year uh, we just keep adding and adding and adding events. I mean, what? Is there any end to the imagination out there as to what we can come up with here? No, I mean, I think that's up to our locals. And of course, we're attracting new people to move here all the time. I think that we have a really creative community. 
Um, and we're always, we always find a way to make things work, right? I think I've, been, I've heard many times, that's impossible. That'll never happen here. And right. it absolutely has. So I think that our um, locals, our community is known to be resilient and incredibly creative. We had to be that way to even found Amarillo. So um, I think that's continued into modern times as well. It's a good deal. That just, that just goes along with the saying that, you know, you hear people say there's nothing to do in Amarillo. Yeah. Not there, sure. there absolutely is. Just go to visit Amarillo.com, dang it. And we will show you all the wonderful things that are that's happening in Amarillo. That's right. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Well, <laughs> Ms. Hope, we thank you for uh, bringing us great things here in this city. And I hope you and yours have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much, y'all, too. Take care. I'll see y'all next month. Be careful. Later, Ms. Hope Bye. Stokes. Uh, don't forget, she said it more than once. Go to uh, exploreamarillo.com. Uh, you can find out. Uh,